Ariana, pisola. A lonely middle-aged woman drastically changes her appearance to an over the heart of a hunky social media star. Surrounded by billowy drapes, Ayana Masola and a man make love on a mattress on the floor. Suddenly, the woman's mother appears as an angel and tells the daughter that she's come to take her to heaven. Marikar's mourning begins as she emerges from a vivid dream, finding herself face to face with the memory of her younger self, intriguingly personified by the actress Ayana Masola. In a moment of light-hearted solace, she addresses her late mother's photograph, positioned across the room, jesting about her mother's presence in her dreams, an attempt to inject humor into her solitude. Her daily routine transitions to her home office, where Marikar, as a virtual assistant, delves into the meticulous task of transcribing voice recordings for an American doctor, a role that offers her a semblance of connection in her otherwise isolated existence. The afternoon brings a spark of warmth when Jessica, her closest confidant, arrives not just with groceries but with a gentle prod towards rejuvenation, suggesting that Marikar should venture back into the world, embrace life anew, especially given the passage of several months since her mother's passing. Jessica's encouragement extends to the realm of personal relationships. She advocates for Marikar to open her heart to the possibility of love again, challenging her friend's reservations about age and the perceived lateness in her life to seek companionship. She reminds Marikar of the sacrifices made the dreams differed, all in the service of caring for her mother. With a blend of humor and sincerity, Jessica presents Marikar with an adult toy, a symbolic gesture nudging her towards rediscovering personal joy and intimacy. The night deepens, and Marikar is haunted by a poignant memory of her mother's confusion, mistaking her for her father, a moment that underscores the depth of her caregiving struggles. Seeking solace, Marikar turns to the internet, hoping to find resources to aid in her grief processing. A simple misspelling redirects her journey, leading her to TikTok, where she stumbles upon Mako, a social media sensation whose dance videos offer a temporary escape from her sorrows. Captivated by Mako's vibrant energy and charm, Merkar finds herself immersed in his world, his dance moves providing a backdrop to her days. The virtual connection sparks something within her, compelling her to invest in an exclusive encounter with Mako at a beach resort, a decision that stirs concern in Jessica. Despite the financial extravagance of the fan meetup, Jessica perceives the deeper value it holds for Marikar's happiness and supports her friend's pursuit of this new, exhilarating experience, marking a bold step in Marikar's journey towards healing and rediscovery. At the entrance, Mikko's assistant, Val, mistakes the woman for a participant's mother, so she explains that she bought the merch. Seconds later, Nadia and Nymphity bump into Marikar and rudely ask whose mother she is. The woman stares them down and tells herself that she'd be prettier than both of them if she lost weight. Eventually, Marikar walks toward the beach where she sees the dancing Mikko surrounded by his adoring fans. Val says she can take pictures with the celebrity first, then asks for her phone. However, she drops the phone in the sand, and as she picks it up, the flustered woman realizes she's at eye level with his thrusting hips. Mikko thanks the fan for coming to his event and encourages her to dance with him. Seconds later, Val informs her that her time with the influencer is up. That evening, while Marikar sits on the steps in front of her cottage, she stares at the pictures with Mikko earlier. Suddenly, the man appears screaming in pain and falls onto her lap. He says a jellyfish stung him, and he needs her to urinate on the injury. However, the woman says she respects him too much to do such a thing but offers to treat him inside her cottage. In the room, Marikar tends to the injury on Mikko's torso. Then, she offers that they share the homemade food she brought, and the man compliments her cooking. The woman says her parents must be proud of him because he's a famous celebrity. He somberly responds that they disapprove of his career and want him to move to the US because they don't consider what he does a real job. To lift his spirits, Marikar says he should be proud of his line of work because he makes people happy. Then, Mikko says he doesn't plan on doing it long term since he's saving up his earnings to open a restaurant business in the future. When the influencer says he's heading out, the woman asks if they can record a TikTok dance video together first. Outside the cottage, Val admonishes the influencer for failing to inform him of his whereabouts. Miko says the nice older woman treated his jellyfish sting, but the assistant tells him to be wary of Marikar in case she's a stalker. Then, Val shows the man pictures of Nadia and Nymphit and says they're waiting for him in his tent. Eventually, 
Miko sees the cloveless woman by the beach and he makes love to both of them while Val records everything on his phone. Meanwhile, Marikar lies in bed and admires the influencer's shirtless pictures on her phone. Then, she takes out Jessica's gift and uses it to pleasure herself while uttering Miko's name. Moments later, she answers a video call from Jessica frantically telling her to check the latest post on Miko's profile. The woman checks the comments on their dance video and sees hundreds of rude insults from the man's followers. They pointed out the significant age gap between her and the celebrity, and that she's too old to still be dancing online. The next day, Marika sees Miko posing for pictures with Nadia and Nymphate and realizes the moments they shared didn't mean anything. On the bus ride home, the woman cries because she knows he'll never find her attractive. Later, Marikar happens upon an online ad for a cosmetic surgery clinic promising potential clients the opportunity to appear more youthful. The next day, she meets Dr. Trisha for a consultation and tells the physician that she'd like to look just like the actress Ayana Misola. After the doctor enumerates the procedure she plans on doing on the patient, she says it'll amount to 500,000 pesos. Shut. Marikar quickly leaves the room. But the clinic's commercial model, Maria, stops and convinces her not to overthink the decision. Maria tells the woman to check her TikTok profile for her real age. In Marikar's surprise, she learns the model is in her 60s. Seeing how much cosmetic surgery made Maria look half her age, Marikar runs back to Dr. Trish's office and says she wants the procedure. Eventually, she undergoes extensive surgery on her face and body. Days later, the doctor removes the gauze wrapped around Marikar's body to reveal the patient's new physical appearance, a successful recreation of Ayana Misola. Soon, the woman returns to the beach resort and devises a plan on how to catch Mikko's attention. She walks into the influencer, pretends she doesn't know who he is, and walks away without saying a word. The curious man follows her to the bar, where she nervously chugs booze from a bottle. Minutes later, a group of men include her in their dance routine in the middle of the party and her mysterious aura catches everyone's attention. Because her knees hurt from dancing, Marikar sits on a swing and massages her leg. Then, Miko sits on the swing next to her and introduces himself. She almost mentions her real name. But she catches herself and says she's Carrie. The man compliments her dancing earlier and offers to give her a ride home later. While on his motorcycle, Marikar holds onto Miko tight and snuggles her face into his neck, finally able to touch him like she's always wanted. Inside the living room, he breaks the awkward silence by kissing her. So she explains that she's never made love before. He says he'd never force her to do anything she doesn't want to. So the woman emphasizes that she wants them to do the deed. Suddenly, he sees Marikar's picture on the wall. So the woman lies and says it's her aunt who asked her to look after the house while she's out of the country. Miko takes this as a sign and says he can't be Carrie's first because he respects her too much. Desperate. Marikar jumps on him and says she doesn't want his respect. But the man insists they can't make love because she's special. After the man leaves, Marikar's picture on the wall admonishes her for failing to seal the deal with Miko. She reminds herself how long it's been since she kissed or made love. After a distressing dream, Marikar awakens to a call from Jessica, who's upset about not hearing from her friend for weeks. When they finally meet, Jessica is stunned by Marikar's changed appearance and learns about the financial sacrifices she's made. Meanwhile, Miko shares a video expressing his feelings for a remarkable woman he's met, hinting at a deep connection with Marikar. Their relationship progresses, with intimate moments and shared experiences that are new and caring for Marikar. Miko's attentiveness leads Marikar to reflect on her past, where her responsibilities overshadowed her personal life. Amidst their growing bond, Marikar's work commitments intrude leading to a tense moment with her employer. Despite this, her relationship with Miko deepens, with her presence becoming a fixture in his videos and their bond delighting his followers. Their connection is solidified when Miko presents Marikar with a necklace, symbolizing their move to a more committed relationship. They navigate their intimacy with humor and exploration, even as Marikar grapples with the physical challenges and changes in her life. However, her professional life falters due to her new priorities. As their relationship becomes public, Miko receives a message from his family, expressing a longing for his return. This development adds a new dimension to their relationship, blending Marikar's personal growth and newfound love with the complexities of life's responsibilities and the impact of past choices on her present and future. After the influencer storms off, Bell tells Marikar that even if his boss doesn't like talking about his family, he knows how much he misses them. Later, 
The boyfriend says he's visiting his family in the US for three weeks and asks if she'd like to come with him. She declines because he hasn't seen his family for years. While they've seen each other every day, Marikar adds that she doesn't want him to regret not spending time with his parents. Miko realizes she's right, especially since his mother and father are in their 50s. When she learns that she's around his parents' age, Marikar expectorates the drink from her mouth, prompting the boyfriend to wordly ask if she's okay. Then, Miko says he'll only be away for three weeks and asks that she wait for him. One day, Marikar sits in front of a mirror and to her horror, sees deep wrinkles on her face. Mortified, the woman rushes to the clinic to ask Dr. Trisha for help. She covers her face with her hands, so the physician asks to take a look at her. When she lowers her hands, she's transformed back to her body before the surgery. Marikar begs the doctor to help her because she has a boyfriend who thinks she's a woman in her 20s. Dr. Trisha says their procedures last for a year, which means hers has already expired, explaining her body returning to its original form. The physician says she can give her a discount for a retouch at 450,000 pesos, but Marikar doesn't have any money left. Eventually, a nurse informs the doctor that she needs to attend to a patient. Desperate, Marikar runs into the operating room and steals random vials and a syringe. She locks herself in the restroom and Dr. Trisha begs her to open the door. Seconds later, the woman emerges, revealing her numb face which she carelessly injected with anesthesia. The next day, Marikar asks her best friend if she can borrow 450,000 pesos, but Jessica says she doesn't have anything close to that amount either. Suddenly, the woman's phone rings, but when she sees that it's Miko, she ignores it. Jessica asks why she won't talk to her boyfriend, and she says she doesn't want him to see what she looks like. The best friend reminds Marikar that Miko gave her the happiest year of her life and that gusting him would break his heart. That night, the woman misunderstood a tip she read online about using vegetable oil to slow down aging, so she uses a syringe to inject the oil into her face. The next day, a natural bumps form on Marikar's face from the injected substance, and she asks Jessica for help. Then, the friend informs her that Miko hasn't posted anything on social media for two months. She says people clown the influencer because Carrie ghosted him. Jessica tells Marikar that if she thinks she ruined her life with the decisions she made, she might have ruined Miko's life even more. Meanwhile, the heartbroken influencer spends his nights drinking his sorrows away, unable to comprehend why Carrie left him without an explanation. Soon, the woman sends Miko a letter where she ends their relationship and thanks him for the happy memories. However, she gives a vague reason as to why they can never see each other again. The next day, the influencer drops by Marikar's house and asks Jessica where Carrie is. Because the woman doesn't want to speak to him, the friend tries to send the persistent man away. That night, the inebriated influencer tries to forget about Carrie by sleeping with Nadia and Nymphate, but he throws up on the woman before they can even start. Months later, Marker runs into Miko at a bakery, and he asks about Carrie. The woman lies and says her niece moved to the US for good. The man says he stopped posting on social media and started a restaurant business like he's always wanted. Just as she's about to confess everything, a middle-aged woman approaches Miko. Marikar asks if she's his mother, but to her surprise, he says she's his fiancé, girly. After the fiancé steps away, Marikar angrily hits Miko with a baguette because he never told her that he was attracted to older women this whole time. She says she should have told her from the start so she didn't have to spend all her money. Later, Marikar tells Jessica what happened, but reiterates that they've both moved on with their lives. However, the woman admits that she regrets not telling Miko the truth. The friend encourages her to come clean, so everyone gets closure. Days later, the man receives a link to Marikar's video where she confessed to undergoing cosmetic surgery to become Carrie. She apologizes to Miko for lying, but insists that her feelings are genuine. Then, she offers words of wisdom to the viewers. She says that there's nothing wrong with cosmetic surgery as long as you make the decision to change for yourself and not for someone else. After filming the video, Val shows Marikar the result and suggests she venture into vlogging because she has a knack for it. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.